In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a social media marketing website step by step. I will specifically show you how to make a social media marketing website with WordPress and Elementor. WordPress is the free software that we are going to use in order to create our website and also customize it just the way we want. And Elementor is a free and simple to use drag and drop page builder that we are going to use in order to design the pages of our website. Don't worry if you are new to WordPress because I'm going to hold your hand every step of the way. For this, I'll show you how to get your very own custom domain name and web hosting. I'll also show you how to install WordPress on your website. Since we'll be using a simple to use drag and drop page builder, you don't need any programming or coding knowledge. Before we get started, let me show you what you will get by the end of this tutorial. This is the website we'll be creating in this tutorial. And when you land on the home page of this website, the first thing you will notice is the header, where we have the logo and the menu of our website. Now, if I try to scroll, you see that the menu is static, meaning we will have a sticky header for our website. With this, users can easily navigate to other pages of your website without scrolling up and down. Immediately after the header, we have this cool hero section where we have some text at the left side and an image at the right side. Also on the hero section, we have this call to action button which can be linked to any page of your choice on your website. Going down, we have a simple about section where we have an image at the left side and a little bit of information about our website with a button that will take users to the main about page. Going down is a section that shows your users your previous works. Next, we have a section for testimonials, followed by a section that shows your users why they should choose you. Next is a section for your numbers, where you can display your years of experience, happy customers you have already worked with, and the number of projects you have completed. Going down, we have the pricing section where I am showing three packages with the first one being the starter package where customers will get 10 posts per month. The second package is the business package where customers get 15 posts per month. And finally, the premium package where customers get 30 posts per month. Of course, this is just a sample. You can come out with whatever packages you want and also go ahead and set your own pricing. When your customers read what you have here and they want to do business with you, they just go ahead and click on order now in order to go through the ordering process. Going down, we have the brand section where you can display the logos of businesses you have worked with. Of course, this is not a mandatory section. You can do away with it if you don't need it. The next section is where we can have a form that users can use in order to book a call with us. This is just a simple form and I'll show you how you can customize everything step by step. I'll also show you how you can add this fixed background image. As you can see, if I begin to scroll, the image is static. I'll show you how you can do that in this tutorial. Next, we have a call to action where users can click on this button to learn more about your business. And finally, we have the footer section, which I'll be showing you how to customize in this tutorial. So if users get to the bottom of your website and they want to get to the top, they can easily click on this arrow to take them to the very top. Awesome. Apart from the home page, which is of course the gateway to your website, we also have other pages which will be relevant to your business. Let's go through them one after the other. First of all, we have the services page where you can showcase all the services you have on your website with a call to action at the bottom part of the page. We also have the pricing page, which is just the same as the one we saw on the home page. So users can easily come here in order to order your service. Next, we have the about page. On the about page, we have some information about our business at the left side and an image at the right side. With this, you can display an image of your entire team right here. 
going down we have a section that indicates how you are committed to your business next we have our team section and i'll show you how you can customize all this we also have a section that shows our work and finally we have a call to action that users can click in order to go through the ordering process the next page we have is frequently asked questions page with this page users can easily get answers to some questions they have on their minds where they don't really need you in order to get awesome we also have the blog page which you can use in order to generate traffic for your website and i'll be showing you how you can create blog posts for your website another important page we'll be having on our website is the contact page which users can use in order to get in touch with you. Also on the header, we have the cat icon, which users can use in order to check out smoothly. And finally, we have the My Account link that users can use in order to have access to the services they will be buying from us. I'll also be showing you how you can create other boring pages like the Terms of Service page, Privacy Policy page, as well as the refunds page. The reason you need these pages is that if you are going to be running a social media marketing website and you want your customers to be able to buy your services through your website, you will need to let them know how you'll be managing their personal information. That is by using the privacy policy page. You also need to let them know how your services work by using the terms and conditions page. And finally, you need to let them know if you do refunds or not so that they know what they are up against before they make purchases from your website. Now let me walk you through how users can buy your services from your website. If they land on the Rising page and they go ahead and click on Order Now, it will bring them to this very page where they can choose the package they want to buy from you. So from here, the first thing they need to do is select the package they want. As you can see, we have the Starter, Business and Premium packages. Before I select any of the packages, at the moment the total price we have is $59 or whichever currency you'll be using. I'll show you how you can set your currencies later on in the tutorial. So the starting point for the services is $49 and the options which is $10 is what we have here. You see that under select platforms, Facebook is selected. That is why we have this $10 under options total. If I deselect it, you now see that the options total is set to zero and it is mandatory for your customers to choose any of these platforms they will want you to work with. So now if I drop down the arrow and I want to choose the business plan, I'll select it and the price is set there for me with this as the grand total as well. So let's assume the client wants Facebook services. They go ahead and select it and the value is added. Maybe they also need Instagram services, so they select and the value is added. And finally, Twitter and the value is added. So this means that any extra social media platform they were selecting would attract additional cost of $10. Of course, you will have to come out with your own prices. Next, we have another option users can choose, which is optional. So if they need these services and also need some blog posts written for them for their website, they can go ahead and choose the particular plan they want. So if they need 600 words, this is the amount they will pay in, that is $29. If they need a 1,000 word blog post, it will attract $39. I also have 1,500 words with $49 and then 2,000 words with $55. So let's assume I need a 1,500 words blog post. I go ahead and select it. And the total value now is $148. So next, I go ahead and click on Add to Cart. I can view the cart. If they have a coupon code, they can go ahead and enter it in here. I don't have a coupon code. I click on Proceed to Checkout. And from here, they will be required to fill in their billing details. At the right side of the checkout page is the order summary. Here is the name of the service I am buying, that is social media management, where I have selected the business package with the selected platform being Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And finally, the additional blog posts I need. Next, the customer needs to choose their preferred payment gateway 
which you'll be setting on your website. For demonstration purpose, I've used cash on delivery. Going down, they go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions and click on place order in order to finish the checkout process. So basically, this is how users can order your services from your website. When they order and you deliver, that is where you will make some money for yourself and your business. So by the end of this tutorial, you will have a fully customizable website that you can use in order to start generating sales with. And to make this website, we are going to use only free resources. The only thing you need to pay for is a domain name and a web hosting, which is a standard for every website. In the next section of the tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can get your very own custom domain name and web hosting. So if you like what you have seen, buckle up and let's get started with the step-by-step -step tutorial.